Welcome, audience. We're so happy that you're here for this live stream. It's um, coming to you live from the parking lot of the Dolores Basilica. It's beautiful, beautiful here. We're so grateful to them for allowing us to be here for our very first gathering in person in 14 months. And 14 months ago, it was a rehearsal. So we are so... I left a word out of that, and Jerome, you were probably dying. The Mission Dolores Basilica, to be exact. It is a beautiful, beautiful place, and we're so happy to be here. So, um, hi, you're seeing this thing on my face and on the faces of the singers. It's called a mask, and um, they've grown, actually grown into the skin, so they're very hard to remove because we sleep in them. And, um, but this is so exciting because thanks to the CDC and our medical team, uh, this moment you're going to see something awesome. Okay, singers, remove your masks. We're gonna need them later, so I won't, I won't have it. I was gonna have it like graduation, like woo! But then somebody is gonna get somebody else's mask and oh my gosh, that'd be just a big old mess. We are thrilled to be singing together today. We're thrilled that you are tuning in to a live stream. It's Harvey Milk Day. In 2009, Governor Schwarzenegger proclaimed May 22nd Harvey Milk Day. We can't believe that we get to sing today on this Harvey Milk Day. The story is, it's actually not a story, it's actually the truth. The chorus had just begun when the candlelight vigil for Harvey Milk took place. The chorus went down to sing in only its fourth week of existence. Holly Near, on her way to the event, wrote a song on a napkin in the taxi as she tells it. When she got there, she taught it to the people around her and members of the chorus who were standing in the front. And so for the first time in, on November, in the end of November in 1981, we sang this song with Holly Near. You know, we feel in so many ways that Harvey, who loved music, who never got to hear the chorus, was passing off his famous bullhorn, or maybe his lavender pen, and handing it over to us, which we translated as a baton. And we've been trying to do our best to honor him all these now 43 years. Happy Harvey Milk Day. We are a peaceful, loving people, and we are singing, singing for our lives. Yes, we are young and old together, and we are singing singing for our lives. We are gay and straight together, and we are singing, singing for our lives. We are friends and sisters Oh, 
This piece marked the beginning of the pandemic for us. It was our first virtual chorus song, and it went over 200,000 views online. It also served as a reminder of what we could be during the pandemic. Brave by Sarah Bareilles and True Colors by Cindy Lauper. You with the sad eyes Don't be discouraged so I realize It's hard to take courage In a world full of people You can lose sight of it all The darkness inside you Makes you feel so small You can be amazing You can turn a phrase into a weapon or a drug you could be the outcast or be the backlash of somebody's lack of love. But I wonder what could happen. I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors, and that's why I love you. So don't be afraid to let them show. Written more than 250 years ago, Amazing Grace is a Christian hymn originally set as a chant at a sermon. Today, the San Francisco Chorus has reclaimed the song Amazing Grace as grace. It is our anthem and it is our call for redemption because we truly believe that to step into one's light and to be authentic, you need to first forgive yourself, love yourself, and to step into your light. Oh. 
Never Ever is a piece that has traveled with the chorus through its ups and downs. It was composed in 1996 by singing member Robert Seeley, and we have sung this song for our families and friends since then. Its words are forever inscribed in our artist portal at the National AIDS Memorial Grove. This next piece is one that is very special to anyone who's been a part of the SFGMC family. For the last 30 years, we've sung this song to commemorate those we've loved and lost. We also sing this song to welcome new members and to welcome our families and friends into the SFGMC family. We're singing this song today and dedicating it to those lost to the AIDS pandemic. While we're grateful that none of our singing members here were, were affected seriously by COVID, we, we lost no members, we're grateful for that. We commemorate tonight, or today, the 3.5 million souls lost worldwide to the COVID pandemic. At the end of this song, every one of you watching will be part of our family. I give you Iris' blessing.
It's so much fun singing outdoors in the elements. It's just precious between the wind and microphones and Mack trucks going down Dolores Boulevard faster than they should. We hope that you've gotten a little taste of what's to come. We have our Pride Showcase coming up, and you may see some of this on that showcase in June, and it will be, God willing, and if there is a God, our final virtual concert. <laughs> By George, we're gonna sing in person if it has to be out here with four or five of you as audience, and we'll just scroll through the audience. But we are gonna sing live come December. That's for sure. That's, we're just gonna claim that. We're, we're putting a stake in that. We wondered what we should sing, and so having not rehearsed, literally rehearsed in 14 months, we pulled out our favorites for you. This one is a song we've sung a lot. And did you know I, just, I separated favorites from a song we've sung a lot? Yeah. <laughs> They're not always the same. Um, but someone asked me, why are we singing Celebrate at the end of this horrific pandemic? Why are we singing Celebrate when hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives? Furthermore, why are we singing Celebrate in this time of social unrest and racial dis-ease? How can we sing Celebrate? Because there's hope and because there is light. We have to claim it. We have to believe that it's out there for us. And so today, while we take all of those things deeply, deeply to heart, we survived the first pandemic of AIDS, and we have survived our second pandemic. It's cause for celebration. And so I just ask as we sing this really silly song that you sit back, enjoy it, sitting at home, and you can even, if you'd like, stand up and do our very, very intricate choreography <laughs> with us. Celebrate. <laughs> 